Do you guys want to come to work with me today? I think your kids think you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are like, I want to go to work with you. I want to go to work with you. I was going to take our friends. I'm so excited to bring you guys to work. So I'm a civil trial attorney, so I don't do any divorces or criminal law. Mostly it's disputes between business owners or people making claims against an insurance company. And I love my job. I'm in a situation right now where I get to pick and choose which cases I will or will not take. And so people will come in, they'll tell me about their situation, what's going on. And I will give them my advice of what I think the chances are they have of winning their case and what I think the value of their case is and whether it's worth it to get an attorney. And it's great. I mean, I, I feel, I know a lot of times people think of attorneys as big mean jerks uh, who make a lot of money. And I, I don't think I'm necessarily fit into any of those categories. I love advising people and helping them. Most of the time the people I'm working with are really going through something really difficult and really hard. And so, being able to be a counselor and an advisor and a friend and to help people going through a hard time and someone who can come in and help solve a problem that people or businesses can't solve on their own by being creative, being passionate, fighting for their cause and convincing the other side why this should get resolved. Okay, so here's my office. This is where I spend a lot of my time every day. So this is where we keep all of our files. This is my legal assistant, April. She's the best. She makes everything work in my work life. Thank you, April. Our office has several conference rooms, but this is right next to my office. And so typically when I'm meeting with a client for the first time or we're getting ready for a deposition or trial, we'll come in here to consult and uh, talk about what's going on. So I spend a good amount of time in this conference room as well. So one of our partners brings his dog, Wiggles, into the office occasionally. I think that tells you about how awesome my firm is. It's really cool. Wiggles. Wiggles, come here. Wiggles is uh, begging April for some crackers or cookies or something. Wiggles, come here. Come here. So this tree, Isaac named George. We bought it, I think, a little before Isaac was born, so six or seven years ago. And uh, we've kept it with me. I love that I have it in my office now. So here's a little taste of what I do all day. Pretty exciting stuff. Honestly though, um, I don't spend a ton of time doing this. Uh, last week we had like a all day of deposition where I'm helping people out they're getting asked a bunch of questions, or I'm asking people a bunch of questions, or going into court for different hearings. There's a lot of phone calls and emails back and forth with opposing counsel and trying to negotiate settlements. It's a lot of what I do. All right, so once I get into work, I normally throw up a uh, soundtrack playlist. Like, I love listening to music while working. And today I'm getting ready for a, uh, I have a trial coming up on a construction law case. And so I'm making sure we have everything put together. We have all the evidence that we need and uh, make sure we're ready to go. I should probably pick that up. When I come home, normally the same thing happens every day. We'll see if it happens today so you guys can see what my life is like. I put my arms around his neck and hug him tight like this. Pat his cheeks and give him what? A great big kiss. You have a dance for dad? Show us your dance for daddy. Whoa. It's a dance for daddy. I've got something even better for daddy. A poopy diaper? No, just a baby. Yep. Daddy's home, yay. And here's his face for daddy. Oh, that's a good face. So do you want to see what's for dinner? Dinner's ready. We have pumpkin muffins. What was that? I want to see what's for dinner. Oh, pumpkin muffins. 
pumpkin muffins and cilantro chicken, wait, cilantro lime chicken black bean soup. Yumminess. Yeah. Mom made it up. Did Mom made it up. It? <laughs> so I took our leftover cilantro lime chicken and made it into, and made soup. It into soup. Genius. I'm feeling quite domestic. Anyway. Yeah. Let's eat. So we were having some trouble getting the kids to go to bed and Kendra bed time, came up with this idea. It's time to rest your head. It's bed time. It's bed time. We're headed off to bed. Turn around. Point your toe. Stick out your tongue. Flap your elbows. Look at your bum. Nod your head. Ready? It's bedtime, it's bedtime. Twirl around, stick out your toe, flap your arms, stick out the long, nod the head. How this is going to translate to bed will be and fun to see. It's bedtime, it's bedtime. Yep. <laughs>